Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Ooh, wee. Another sweet car to test today, guys. I think this is the first Le Mans car we've tested. I think it is. I'm not sure. But it is the Jaguar XJ220 race car, you guys. 953 horsepower, 1,320 kilograms with a mid engine drivetrain and a who knows what dual overhead cam turbo. <laughs> Love when it just says a dash, you know? I like, wonder what the hell is it actually in there, right? You get that. Oh, uh, thumbnail. Alright, you guys, XJ220 time. The 1000 Challenge. Now, this car is actually a 5 speed. Something very different about this car. <coughs> Super interesting. Formula rules the world out here at the 1000 Challenge. But we need a 17.799. Look at that, you guys. By the Pennzoil Nismo. Beep, 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 beep. The alarm says. Yeah, you guys can hit pause on any of these screens to see the settings that we're rocking. Super sub. <coughs> I'll go turn that beep 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 off in a second there, you guys. And you guys can hit pause on these screens to see our settings. 35, you guys. And you can see, it's a 5 speed, you guys. <laughs> I got alarms going off, I got my dog snoring in the back. And that's maximum downforce. Zero and one on the TCS. Give me one moment, you guys. <laughs> and I will go shut that beep beep off. Ah, uh, yes. <coughs> Here we are. <laughs> Pardon me, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, good Lord. Oh, my. Whoa, look at that booty. Oh, her booty's jumping, you guys. God darn. 9.6. Go, 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 go. go. Seventh or eighth? Eighth? Yep. It's getting pretty tight. <coughs> pretty tight. Ooh, pretty close right there to the Impreza LM. Eighth place. Warm-up time! Oh, yeah. yeah, this car should do pretty good. It drives a little weird, and it has very unexpectedly tight handling. You wouldn't expect this car to handle as good as it does. <coughs> well, you're about to see it right now, so... <laughs> Here we go. Let's get all warmed up. Not very good brakes though. <laughs> aren't exactly the best. <clears throat> Whoa. It might sound like we're accelerating slowly as well, but that's only because this car is a 5-speed. It's a 
takes a little bit of extra time to get through a whole gear. Apricot Hill. Hot lap challenge, you guys. Oh. Wonder. Wonder. <coughs> For fuck's sake. I hate it when your throat gets all fucked like that. And it's like you just have to clear your throat like every goddamn 30 seconds. Like, for fuck's sake. Alright, you guys. JGTC. Leading the way. <laughs> and then a whole slew of... A bunch of random cars, really a bunch of random race cars. <clears throat> the ones that made it through. We need a 113. 138. Oh, let's get this, you guys. <clears throat> For fuck's sake, if I, if I could breathe. <laughs> Oh. 
Acceleration of this car is mind bending in second gear, man. Come on, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> Friggin' rock. So nice. It's a one ten.
fucking beast! <laughs> wow! Was that all five laps were, uh, or, pardon, all four subsequent laps after the first were gains, were they not? All of them. I think I beat the ghost every lap. <sighs> that was intense. Wow, listen to the rumble on this car, you guys. Listen to this. Oof. Absolutely fucking gorgeous, you guys. 109.436 was our hot there. On the board. <laughs> That's all I care about at this point, man. Making that board. God damn. That was mint. <sighs> Thank you, XJ220. You know, I'm actually surprised that I didn't crash at all or anything like that. Because this car is pretty well known for being a, a difficult car to drive. Being a bit of a handful. It's a little wacky, but once you get used to it, man, you can really roll those corners. And uh, I was a little apprehensive at first about getting on the gas pedal too hard. But then I kind of realized, like, it, it sort of doesn't mind if you do. You have to be, like, very uh, grabby on the steering wheel. Don't let the steering wheel slide through your hands. Really hold on to it tight. You know what I mean? Always be steering, right? Never just sort of let the car do whatever uh, handling adjustments it wants to itself. Like, don't let it loosen up by itself. That's uh, the main <clears throat> the main thing there that saved me a lot of time. 109.436 is pretty respectable for that car, man. Beat the, beat the Caribra, you guys. <laughs> Caribra. Well, yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out, as always, and watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3. Do me a favor, guys, maybe leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I freaking love you. And I wish you the total, total best, as always, and I uh, hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. So be sure to have a good one. Bye-bye.